They are the stories of North Georgia that don't make it into the history books. Tells of mystery and murder whispered about by longtime residents. Now the new uh, North Georgia Haunted History Trolley Tours is bringing those stories out of the shadows. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken live this morning doing a little ghost hunting for us. Paul, good morning. Yes, yes. Good morning to you. We've been doing it live on Facebook, too, and we've found some very cool corners of this house back here. So, Elise, this is the 1837 Stovall house back here, and this is an, an interesting factoid for you. On the cover of the classic book, The Notebook, everybody has this book, or at least you've seen the movie, right? That's actually a view taken from the Stovall house on the cover of The Notebook, but it turns out maybe it should have been used on a horror novel because there are ghosts inside the Oval House, and that is why Christina Ernst has started the historic haunted trolley tour. It's great to see you this Good morning. Good to see you too. I told you before, I love the idea of this tour. So you are getting people on a trolley, and you're taking them to the scariest places you can find in Satina oh Coochie, gosh. right? It is haunted everywhere around here. <laughs> it's crazy. So. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the uh, the uh, Stovall House really quickly mm -hmm. here. I mean, what are some of the stories you've heard about this particular bed and breakfast? Well, we've heard uh, we've had. Some claims that um, people can feel a presence around them when they're in bed, mm -hmm. and um, out here um, they also have a wonderful dinner and a brunch here, and I think people have felt presence around them with that, and yeah. lots of orbs. People are taking pictures around here, mm -hmm. and they're capturing all sorts of orbs on their cameras. Yeah, so. and actually, I got to say, our truck operator Michelle Sanders took a few pictures this morning, and there are some strange okay. green spots that showed up in her. I'll post them on my Facebook page, and you all can be the judge of that a little bit later. What are some of the other stops on the tour? Absolutely. So we stop at the historic Hardman Farm, mm -hmm. also here in Salty. There's definitely a lot of hauntings there that people who also have heard horses. They've heard the old terrain that was here. Um, Almost 100 years ago, um, we also stop at the historic Saltina Coochie Center, mm -hmm. and lots of history around there as well. So we, everyone has a chance to step off the trolley, walk mm -hmm. around the area, um, see if they can feel any presence or see or hear any spirits, and then, um, yeah, we have three wonderful stops, and then as well, we point out some of the other wonderful places here. A lot of people feel hauntings around the. Nukuchi Indian Mound. Mm -hmm. So we give everyone a chance there to see. Yeah. To see and, and what I love about this is you're not only hearing the ghost stories, but you're really learning about the history. And there's such yeah. rich history mm -hmm. in this area, stretching all the way back to the Native American tribes that were here. And so much of the land here was ceremonial land and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So we have all the Native American history in the yeah. area yeah. through the valley. So there's a presence with all of that, I think, and that's why this is such a rich place for hauntings. Absolutely. All right. Well, back here are Jonna and Lloyd, who, of course, are run the bed and breakfast back here. You were telling me something interesting a minute ago. So back in this tree way back here, there's a headstone under the tree, and that was a headstone that was found on the property. Tell me real quick, if you would, about that headstone. It was found as a foundation rock. If mm -hmm. you, the, the house is built on stacks of rocks, mm -hmm. which was the common thing, and it was used as one of the rocks. So when they were remodeling, they they located the headstone. It's a little girl who died in 1869, mm -hmm. I believe, and uh, we know no real information about her. Her name was Mary Jackson, mm -hmm. but uh, she's probably hanging around here somewhere wondering who's got her headstone. I think probably, yeah. And you go over there and look at it, and they were saying they don't know if her family lived here, who she was, but the headstone is here, and I think her spirit probably is as well. Now, you two spend a lot of time in the bed and breakfast. Do you ever feel like there's a presence around you? Oh, absolutely. In fact, early in October, I don't know what it was about that time, but I said to Lloyd one day, I said, are you feeling anything because it was like this two-week period when every time you know out of the corner of your eye there was something there yeah. and uh and, but it's always you know very pleasant mm -hmm. there's nothing scary it's just a good feeling about the place yeah the spirits they, they like it so much they don't want to leave right? absolutely Come and stay. That's the same thing your guests feel. Absolutely. Yeah. And they were telling me before, many guests who have stayed here have said they have felt a presence before. And we walked upstairs and checked out some of the rooms. And they are very neat rooms. I mean, just beautiful architecture in there. A lot of the original, you know, studs and beams and things you can still see in the house. So definitely worth your time to come check it out and check out the entire tour. And again, Elise, I'm going to upload some of Michelle's pictures. And you all be the judge. I mean, she and I think 
think she captured orbs. Now, Blaze behind the camera is a total skeptic, and he always tries to explain it as lens flare, but he doesn't know what he's talking he about. He's, he's an amateur back there. We know it's the truth. True. I love it. Well, it looks like a great place, and, and my gosh, the stories coming out of there, I can only imagine. So, all right, Paul, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yep, cool stories. You have fun out there. And tomorrow morning, Paul and the High Five Sports team are heading to Landmark Christian School to honor the War Eagles as our team of the week. Don't miss a minute of the Live Pep Rally starting right here on Good Day Atlanta at 8 o'clock.